All right, in this video, we're gonna show you what comes inside the box if you buy a ProStar MPPT charge controller from our website. The one we're gonna be looking at specifically is the uh, ProStar MPPT 40M, which means it's gonna have the meter on it, which is definitely handy. Now, what we're gonna be showing you is what you're gonna receive if you buy just the individual component from our website. We do also have this charge controller available uh, pre-built on one of our PRE panels, which is gonna come wired with breakers and terminal blocks all ready to go. We also can install this in a custom designed solar system uh, if you speak to our sales team and go through the quoting process for that. But if we take a look at this, if we look at the side here where we just were, this big sticker here is gonna have our part number on it, 018308. And that's gonna be our part number. If you type this in on our website, it'll pull up this specific product. And this sticker here is from Morningstar. Uh, and it's gonna have the serial number that's specific to this charge controller, which can be important for warranty purposes. That's about all that's exciting about the outside of the box. So let's open it on up. And when we open it up, we're gonna see we have a nice little product guide here for other Morningstar products. We're gonna get this whole guide which is gonna show exactly where you need to drill your holes uh, to mount this thing on any wall or back plate. And then we're also gonna get a one page quick start guide, which is gonna show you all the steps that you need to do to make sure that this thing is hooked up properly to run correctly. And we're also gonna get this menu map, which is gonna basically just show you all the features that you can access through the meter on this uh, MPPT charge controller and all the different settings you can change and all the different information you can see. And we'll take a look at that meter in just a second. And you're also gonna get your installation operation and maintenance manual, which is in English, French, Dutch, and Spanish. So if we take off this top piece of packing material here, we can take out the charge controller, set it to the side. There's a couple more things that come in this box. These are kind of nice, they include these. Uh, if you know what these are, you probably already know about them, but if you have sensitive radio equipment or anything else like that, these are nice because you clamp them around your wires and they reduce your noise uh, for the radio or anything like that. So once again, if you know about these, you probably already know about them. It's kind of nice that they include them in the box. And we're also gonna get four screws for mounting these. Once again, nice that they include that. So if we take this out of the anti-static bag, this is the MPPT controller with the meter. As you see, we've got our nice little sticker reminding us to register the product. And we've got, it says up here, it says ProStar MPPT. This is the meter. We've got our buttons for navigation. Once again, it comes with that nice map, so uh, very manageable. You can work through these menus and see all the different settings you can change. If you look over here on the side, this is the same sticker that was on the outside of the box from Morningstar. It's got the serial number on it once again, which can be important for warranty. And you've got your warnings. And on this side, we have all of our ratings that are specific to this charge controller. So you see it says 40 amps, 12 through 24 volts DC for your battery voltage, your wattage, and all that kind of stuff you can see on this side of the thing. And then on the back, you can see it's got a nice big metal heat sink on it. So if we set this thing down. We can remove these screws right here and take off the terminal cover and take a look at the terminals for this ProStar MPPT charge controller. Yeah, set those to the side. So this is what the terminals look like on this thing. You've got your solar terminals, your load terminals, and your battery terminals, and your ground terminal, which will ground this thing in with your system. And you've also got your dip switches in here. You've got your communications port, and you've got uh, where you can hook up your battery uh, your remote temperature sensor for your battery, so it'll monitor your battery temperature there. Now, if you're wondering about these dip switches on the inside of this terminal cover, it tells you what all those dip switches do, and so you can figure out how you should have them set for yourself. And once again, we have this thing next to a Sharpie, so you can kind of get a little bit of an idea of how it's actually sized. And that's what comes in the box.